Happy Saturday. This is the Mystic Modeler Bruce from the garage. I have the doors closed today because they're putting a new driveway in a couple doors down and they are got their trucks and their asphalt. You might hear it a little bit back there. I wanted to get this video out before they really get started. Uh, this is part 11 of the Gord Fork 1 150 scale build by Ravel. Now, rigging. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Can't you tell? No, I really am. It, it really makes a difference in, in the ship here. The, the rigging is, is what makes it. And the sails. I always put sails on. I just don't do a ship without sails because I think that adds to it. I use the preformed ones. I paint them. Um, I like them white, a flat white. And uh, let me get a drink of water here. And uh, I got all the uh, standing rigging on. That's the black thread. I'm working on the. I'm working on the inner sails first because that's the easiest way to do things. I learned that from Frankie Day. Work from the inner side. I work from the back to the front, and I'm reinforcing things as I go. Thank God. I put metal rods in here because I had a little disaster with this first mast. It hit my light and cranked it over. I just bent it back, glued it, put a couple of metal supports. You can't even tell. Can't tell one bit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, nine sails on right now and I want to show you where we're at. So let's take a look. Here's the head on view. You can see it's dead straight. I put the uh, front piece on here, but I'm going to put a little uh, wash on that, a little red-brown wash, see what happens. But here's the sails. Here's what I got on so far. The only problem I had was with this back one here. It didn't match up, so I had to do some trimming. It looks a little smaller, but you really can't tell. Unless I told you. And I did. But the back is all rigged. I got uh, these little pulleys. The, the ones they're giving the kit don't even have eyelets to time off with. So I've had a bunch of them left over from other builds that I'm using. And once I get these outside running rigging lines hooked up on the outside and uh, the main sails on, it's going to look really, really sharp. And uh, I got to put the anchor on yet. And uh, I'm going to do the lifeboats next. So I'm going to put these in here because I think I'm done. I don't have to reach back here for anything. And I got to put a lifeboat back here. Let's move this a little bit. You can see I got to put a lifeboat right back in here. But the, the back rigging is this is just this is all done back here. And uh, you can see the sails. What's it look like with the light off? No, it doesn't, doesn't make really any difference, does it? Yeah, I want to, it's going to be a hot one today, so I think we'll turn the air on in the house. But look at that. She's coming out really nice. This deck came out just awesome. I think the deck is probably one of the, my best decks I've painted. You can see. Uh, I gotta put the uh, rat lines on. That'll be, I gotta trim them and cut them. I got some stairs that go on last on the outside. and You know, there's a, a lot of work to be done yet, but uh, once I get these in here, all of the uh, inner, man, inner sails, the rest is, it's downhill from there. I still got some things drying. You can see I got stuff hanging off of it. But it's tight. It's they're they're tight. They're good. This back one is is locked in. And this part up here, I don't know if you can see this. This part right here, this is like part of an antenna aerial that, that went down. But that's what they said on the instructions to put that there. 
and it uh, it pulled it a little bit but it's not bad you know she's looking good so tell me what you think this is part 11 I've got uh, I'm jumping around because if I don't if you build it the way they want you to build it with these big mitts and everything I, I would never get in there I would never be able to get in here they tell you to put these sails up there's no way and you know you got your running rigging and uh, you got your back stays up now the back stays I use easy line with the darker heavier thread is the uh, real good standing rigging that tie in the masts but you can see she's uh, looking good so uh, I just want to mention hey Chris I, I learned a lot from your last video um, so will you get those decals for the tires could you um, on your next video or something or, or send something to me with a website to get those because I, I I'm always looking for a place to get decals for tires are they the, the ones that rub on the wet ones or are they really decals so that was a question for you Chris um, and uh, Max I uh, I'm looking forward to the airline build. I got I got a special airliner coming that uh, I don't think anybody else is going to have. Um, it's in, a, in a special airline build for later in the year. So we'll see. But that's it. This is the Gork Fork. She's sitting in dry dock right now. You can see I got her. She's still here. to cut all those off but uh, those say those those mass are just dead straight dead straight and to keep them that way being plastic that metal rod in the middle helps out a lot but I want to tell you it's uh, it's always a challenge when you do this rigging and there's a lot more rigging to go yet but uh, the majority of it uh, the standing rigging is uh, is done and once I get the uh, front sheets on if there's four of them that go on there and get rigged up it'll be all right so that's about it i found a place that's going to take my big cutty sark and my other big ships and put them in their restaurant so i thought that was pretty cool because uh eventually we're going to move and i'm going to have to get rid of them and i'd rather have them someplace where someone can enjoy them so there's a restaurant about uh, a couple miles down the road that's nautical theme and uh, I talked to the manager last night and uh, she goes she would love to have them so I'm gonna bring my phone over show her some pictures and uh, start dropping off I think I got about three I might give them all my sailing ships I, I don't know what's going on but um, except for this one I'll enjoy this one for a while then I'll give them this one but um, making room hey if you can give them away someplace and they're gonna be seen more power to them I can go look at them, go have a drink at the bar and look at them, you know. So, three of them are in nice big cases, so they're going to really enjoy those. Problem is getting the one off the shelf over there. It's pretty high up and the case is heavy. The um, CSS Alabama that I did, 196 scale by Ravel. But there we go. There's where we're at. So, this is Bruce, the Mystic Modeler. You guys have a great rest of the weekend. It's going to get real hot here. It's supposed to rain. Uh, I don't know what it's like in Ohio and out in uh, Nebraska land where Vince is at. But um, I'm sure he's got the hotness as it's coming this way and then it's going to hit Ohio. So you guys are in for it. And then uh, Charlie Mack, awesome job on your stuff, man. Just awesome. I, I just love watching you work. And um, a shout out to you, by the way. Um, so that's about it. Jerry, Johnny, behave. Maddie, take. she's coming in again this week for about four or five days. She's got some business to take care of. So uh, that'll be fun. And uh, have a great weekend. This is Bruce, the Mystic Miler. Ships from the garage. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.